another one. So we have just a little bit and we finish our unit. We are today at the 10th lesson of our unit, People and the World. And the topic of today's lesson is Niagara Falls, Stonehenge, and the Vauban system. So let us proceed to the lesson. To start this lesson, I want you first to open your books, page 121, 122, and find the text about Niagara Falls. Read, please, for a few minutes and be ready to answer the following questions. What are the three waterfalls comprised by Niagara Falls? How old is Niagara Falls? Who was the first to discover the falls? Why do the falls make a tremendous sound? And why does the word Niagara mean? So read the text and be ready to answer the question. I see that you are ready and you are ready to answer the questions. So look please at the screen and let us check if you did it right. For the first question, how many waterfalls are comprised by Niagara Falls? These are three. So American Falls, Bridal Veil Falls and Horseshoe Falls. The second question was, how old is Niagara Falls? The birth of Niagara Falls can be traced back more than 12,000 years to the end of the last glacial period. So, if you found this answer, this is the correct one. The third question was, who was the first to discover the falls? The falls were first discovered by the French explorer Father Louis Hennepin in December 1678. This is the correct answer. 4. Why do the falls make a tremendous sound? The falls make a tremendous sound as the water goes over and lands at the bottom. So that's why there is a tremendous sound. The last one, the last question, what does the word Niagara mean? The word Niagara is derived from the Iroquois Indian word Oniguihara meaning the straight. So, very good job. Let us continue. Beside Niagara Falls, um, there is another place that I want to discuss with you today. This is the Stonehenge. From the previous lessons, we know that Stonehenge is in England. So, um, we are going to have a listening exercise. So, while you are listening this text, I want you to complete it with the given words established, burial, slabs, pattern, outruns. So if you are ready, I'm going to read for you this text and while I'm reading, you just complete it with the needed words. Are you ready? Okay. If you are ready, listen and complete the text with the given words. Ready? Steady, go. Okay, Stonehenge. It is one of the most famous and mysterious places in the world. It is situated in Salisbury Plain in southern England. Its age outruns the age of the pyramids. Stonehenge is the most impressive of all Stone Age monuments. It was built around 4,000 years ago, but no one knows why. Archaeological evidence found by the Stonehenge Riverside project in uh, 2008 indicates that Stonehenge could have been a burial ground from its earliest beginning. Stonehenge is a complex pattern composed of over 100 stones. The stone blocks are arranged in two circles. The outer circle once included 30 upright stones the uh, slabs. The inner circle was made up of 60 slabs, which included two horseshoes shaped groupings of stones. It is uh, established that Stonehenge was built between 2000 and 1400 before Christ. The construction lasted more than 500 years. If you finished completing, let us check. So, the first word should be outruns, then burial, pattern, slabs, and establish. Good job. Let us continue with the next one. Uh, this is about the Vauban system. 
The task is the same. Complete the text with the given words like ditches, wrapped, fortified, due to, and steep. If you are ready to listen, take your pen, pencil, and let's go. The Vaubon system in the central part of Moldova, not far from Orhei, there is a place named the fortress. The fortress represents a large fortified building that has the form of a horseshoe. Its diameter is 350 meters. The openings of the horseshoe coincide with the steep shore of the river Kogulnik. The fortress, unlike Stonehenge, is not wrapped with mystery. Moldovan archaeologists are certain that it was built by Jeto Dutch in the period between the 4th and the 3rd centuries before Christ. The entire architectural pattern is surrounded by fortifications, which are made of land and take the form of valleys and ditches. As a result, the contour of the fortress looks like a zigzag. The fortress is the most impressive and valuable building of all the historical monuments of the period, mainly due to its ingenious defensive system. This defensive system appeared in Europe only at the end of the 16th century. It has been known as the Vauban system. If you succeeded completing this text, let us check. So, if you have the same answers, it means that you did a great job and you fulfilled correctly. And usually, at the end of our lesson, I have something delicious for you. A reflexive uh, task. So, the task is, if you compared Stonehenge and the Vauban system, how many similarities and differences would you find? Think about these two monuments and find the similarities and differences. Thank you for a nice lesson and thank you for your attention. Don't forget, stay at home and learn English. See you next time. Bye-bye.